If you're building an online store with WooCommerce, one area that always gets overlooked when it comes to customization are the emails that it sends out. Today, I'm going to show you a free plugin that allows you to customize various different aspects and have a much more bespoke end result for you and your customers. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Touch, the channel where I help you get more from WordPress. Start now by hitting that subscribe button and smashing the bell icon to be notified every time new content is added. Today, we're going to be checking out the Cadence WooCommerce Email Designer plugin, a free plugin that you can get in and start customizing pretty much every aspect of each of the emails that WooCommerce sends out. Once you've downloaded, installed and activated the plugin, we're then ready to start customizing those emails. To do that, we can either click on Open Email Designer from inside the plugin settings, or we can come over to the WooCommerce tab and come down to Email Customizer. Both of them will take us into the default customizer for Cadence. So you can see we now have a range of options down the left-hand side. First thing we've got, a pre-built template. So if you want a one-click, quick and easy way to be able to customize things, this is a great starting point. If we expand this out, you can see we have three different options to choose from. All we need to do is select the design that we like, scroll to the bottom and say Load Template. And depending upon the speed of your internet connection will depend upon the time it takes to update the particular design you choose. So let's just say OK. We'll let that go through and then it'll update and it'll see exactly what we end up with based upon the template that we've chosen. We already end up with a much better looking email based upon that particular predefined layout. So you can see we've got all various different options in there that have been customized and we can still carry on and customize this to get exactly what we want. However, if we don't like it, we can simply hit reset confirm the notification and that will then go back and restore our original default WooCommerce email. So however you want to work, this is a good starting point whether you want to customize the original emails or start with a nice design and then customize from there. You can see once we come down there, we've got email type and text and we have a load of options inside here. So each of the different elements inside the normal template or any of the predefined templates, we can customize those based upon the options inside the customizer, as well as things like the available placeholder. So you can see we've got a range of little short codes that we can easily start to use to customize this. So we want to make this a little bit more personalized. We can use first name, last name, usernames. We can put in the site title, the order number, the order date, and so on. So we can very quickly and easily customize the aspects that we want. So there's the first part. You can see we can also come in and say, what kind of order do you want to use? Do you want to use a mock-up, which will just basically put in some random information about a particular product and a price and quantity and email address and so on? Or if we want to, we can easily come in and choose to have a particular order from within our WooCommerce store. So we can see we're working with proper live data. So let's choose this one, give it a second or so, and you can see that now updates and gives us all the information based upon the order we've chosen. We can then go through and say, well, what email do we actually want to customize? At the moment, we're currently looking at the new order email, but we can if we want to expand the email type and choose any of the emails that WooCommerce sends out. So if we want to say we want to update and change the canceled order. We can simply select that, let that load it in, and then we can start editing all the various different aspects inside that particular email. So depending upon the email that you choose, you will see different options on the left hand side in the customizer, but obviously you can take advantage of any of those relevant different pieces of information for the particular email that you're looking to customize. So it's very easy. Let's come back into our new order and let's just jump back out to the pre-built templates and let's take a look. Let's just choose this one again, scroll down and load that template in. Okay. To this particular warning, let that load that in and then we can start to use this. Okay. So there's our email all set up in the style and brand that we want. So you can see at the moment, we don't have the header logo that we want. Well, we can easily come in, change that. So we can choose header, header image, and then we can select the image we want to use from our library. So we'll choose this one, which is the logo for our particular site. Let that update. And you can see now that puts that logo in there. If we want to, we can adjust the image width, the padding at the top and the bottom. We can even change the background color. So let's just say, for example, we were using a white logo. So let's just remove this, change that and choose our white logo alternative choose that image that kind of gets lost on that background. So we can easily come in and choose a background color that's more fitting to the design that we're working with. So anything we want to choose, you can see we can simply click the colors or choose a particular color that we want that we know is going to be following the branding of the particular site that we're working with. So it's very easy to choose. If we want to update the size of the logo, we can do that. So we can make that smaller or larger, depending upon your particular requirements. So let's make that a little smaller, a little less intrusive. That's already looking better. We can adjust the padding at the top and bottom as well to tighten that up or make it a little bit larger, whatever we want to do. So let's set that to something like 50 pixels. Change the alignment if we want to, to left, center, or right, however you want to set things up. 
So you can see the customization is very easy to do. Jump back out of this, we've then got header style. So you can choose the background color, the text align. We've also got headings. So we can come into there and we can change the fonts if we want. So you can see we can adjust the font size, the line height, change the font family. Now at the moment, we don't have Google fonts available, but obviously that's due to the fact that they're keeping consistent with what typical users would end up with on their system. So these are safe fonts that most users on any kind of system should have installed and the fallback. So you can see Helvetica New is the choice that they want. If that's not installed, it'll fall back to Helvetica, Roboto, Arial, and finally a sans serif default font on any system. But you can see we can easily come in and change this to whatever we want from this list to make sure it looks nice and consistent. Now, it's super simple. You can see we can also adjust things like the heading font style and choose between normal and italic. We can adjust the weight on there if we want to, to make sure it fits in the design that we have. And we can also change the color to anything we want. If we scroll down, you can see that we've got subtitle placement. So we can do things below the heading, above the heading if we're using it. So you can see it'll adjust everything. And with the fact that we have using the customizer just makes the whole process quick and easy in a visual fashion. It just makes working and customizing quick and simple. So there's a ton of options in there that we can adjust the subtitles, the fonts, the headings and so on. Jump back out of there and we've got the option there for the content itself. And again, we've got content container, heading styles, content styles, order items, addresses and so on. So we can easily come in and fine tune all of this. So at the moment, we've got a border box width on there. Let's adjust that. You can see we can change that to what we want. We can easily come in and change things like the address box background color. If you want to put a color in there, we can do that and make it look really, really ugly. But what you can see is it's very quick and easy to do. Jump back out and jump back out again. We can adjust the footer if we want to. We can even come in and choose custom styles. So if you've got a kind of style that you want to associate that's not part of this particular plugin and you know the CSS code to it, you can easily copy and paste that in there and start editing things on a much more granular level than using the customizer options. Same goes for import and export. We can, if we want to, export the actual plugin settings or import. So if you're using this on multiple different sites and you want to have that consistency or just a quick and simple starting point, you can easily export this information and then import it into another copy of this plugin and carry on working. Alternately, you might just want to be making a backup of this because you want to make some changes to your site and you want to make sure you've got that backup so you don't have to go through the process of doing this over and over again. So let's come back out of here. We can also come in and say we want to send a preview email and what email we want to send it to. So this is a great way of testing your changes just to make sure that they look good on different email clients. So for example, your Gmail, you might want to check it out on Outlook, all those different kinds of things just to make sure it looks the way you want. And then you can adjust and tweak accordingly to make sure that everybody that receives your email has a perfect experience as opposed to something that looks good on one and then falls apart on another. So this is one of those plugins that just makes the whole process of doing something with WordPress very, very easy. Now, typically with WooCommerce, you'd either have to get in and start custom coding things, editing things directly inside the templates, or pay for a plugin directly from WooCommerce itself, which unfortunately is kind of expensive and currently sitting around about $80 just for one license. That's a lot of money just to change some email details. So it's great to see you've got an option like the Cadence WooCommerce email designer that makes the whole process easy and visual and fundamentally completely free. Now, if you want to get more out of WooCommerce, check out the links you can see in the corner right now. These are great videos that's going to get you up to speed with more advanced topics inside WooCommerce itself. Well, speaking of the Cadence WooCommerce email designer, have you used this yourself? If not, could you see yourself using it? Or have you found an alternative you think is better, cheaper, or just works in a much simpler fashion? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, all the applicable links are in that description. And if you want to click on any of the affiliates, it costs you no more money, but does help support the channel. Well, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.